Hi, this is Dustbox Mom, and welcome back to Let's Play Heroes Chronicles. We're about in the middle of the third week of the first scenario of the Revolt of the Beastmasters campaign. We're at a point where we could capture the Red Castle and end the scenario early. However, we do have quite a bit of leveling up to do, especially for Tarnum himself. So we are going to continue clearing the map for the for now. For once the Arathian troops didn't shout defiance at the Mudlanders. Maybe they figured the limbless knoll that they left out as a warning in the last episode would do. Okay, that was quick. Okay, so we've moved everybody. Let's see what we can build here. Uh, maybe a cage of warlords. I'm holding off on building the upgraded creature dwellings for now. I think we may be able to finish clearing the map before there's a need for upgraded troops. Those harms certainly need more gnomes. And lizard warriors are... Ooh. Better than our merit lizard men. Would you believe the royal griffins actually wanted to join Tarnum? That is amazing. coming up from this direction. And we're finding more resources. Obelisk this time. Today we received word of a massacre. A large group of escaped slaves surrendered themselves to Lord Onston, begging for mercy. Onston placed chains around their necks and put them to work digging a massive hole in the swamp. When they were done, Onston ordered all the slaves inside the hole, surrounded them with archers, and killed them all. This news has nearly broken the will of my army. All these people really need is a victory. One glorious defeat of their enemy. I was just going to lead these people out of this land, but 
now we have to make a stop first. Lord Onston has to die. Okay, we're going to have Tarnum take out these griffins. And then I believe there were some swordsmen guarding some resources and artifacts a little way south of here. But I think that's basically the last of the neutral creature stacks that we have to defeat. Don't mind that, that's just the timer acting silly. Getting all confused. We can have Gerwolf pick up this cache of resources here. stuff up. But whatever. And we'll end this trying to catch up with Tarnum. Uh, no, I don't think we're going to have Wiston do that. Just reach there in time for the beginning of the next game week. Okay, perhaps a mage guild level three. Okay. Well, probably would be a good idea to... Actually, we could probably have Merlanda and Murdish. deal with those secondary red heroes. We'll turn him. Heads toward the swordsman. Okay, I think we'll have the Gerwolf and Kiva in. Ah, 
and they ran back. Okay. This treasure's been collected for Lord Onston. Back to the pen, Swamp Slon. Yeah, probably some of the treasure chest I could have taken the experience instead of the gold. I'm just so used to taking the gold instead, though. scenario. Oh. Wow. Let's start here. Far the Wolf had here and here. Go that way. Why do you get a bat? I gathered a new advisor all day, today. She was a wizened old gnoll, 
a retired witch called, named Adamina. One eye was closed from an old wound, but the other was alert and watchful. Her arthritic hands clutched a cane as she hobbled through the camp. Despite her state of obvious weakness, the others respected and took care of her. She joined my forces when we stopped to water the horses, stepping out of the dense swamp where she lived, and immediately demanded to talk to me. Proceed with care, she told me, pointing a gnarled old finger my way. Hope is a dangerous thing, she continued. Take it from someone you've already defeated them. Give it to them that you can do anything. My people are strangers to hope. Turn them, hope wielder. Proceed with care. They're my people too, I insisted. Oh, the witch said with one eyebrow raised suspiciously. Are they? Okay. Well. Maybe you can take a few of these extra troops off Tarnum's hands. Just a couple. <laughs> Come on. That should do it. And then we need to head towards Thor's collecting troops. We get some gold and head towards those wizard men. Her wolf. And pick up those resources that Tartan left for him. I can pick up some lizard men and then maybe hook up with that other fellow down there. visited the windmill and he's heading toward the mill hut. Alkin. I suppose we could probably upgrade the serpent fly high. Get out of their dragonflies. heading more or less in the direction of Alkin. Okay. And at this point we've got everything built there, so no need to go back there except we can need to leave. I can get Gerwolf's lizard men. Okay. 
that with so we can pick up some knolls and those blizzard men that Tiva just hired. And maybe head towards that water wheel. Okay, probably Gerwolf and Lorlanda or somebody can heal the drink. Okay, there's Wiston. Oh. Already recruited Mullins. Okay, that actually looks pretty good. I know. No, I'm not going to close these. Okay. Okay, just Tiva left. 
Okay, we'll make Tiva go back and be the garrison hero now. Okay, I think this is about as ready as we're ever going to be. So we're starting to head Tarnum up to that castle. And... Oh, Alkin forgot to buy a first aid town. Or something. And then we'll give Burdish some of those units. Okay, yeah, see that. We'll have Tiva head back toward the castle. And maybe put her in. No, we can't put her in garrison. Crap. Well, I was hoping to finish the scenario up this turn, but it doesn't quite look like I'm going to be able to do that in mean, this episode. Okay. And then just all get left. Yeah, don't have a whole lot to do with him. I think at this point we'll save. And then right at the beginning of the next episode we'll take that red castle and finish the scenario. So see you then.